Hi guys, so we've got three games left in the season, and for the past two weeks, we've been playing Neo Turf Masters, a golf game released on the Neo Geo in 1996. So this is a game I wanted to love, but unfortunately I just found it a bit frustrating. I think that's partly me, and partly the game. So, golf games for me, you really need that precision, and you need to take your time, and I kind of just didn't have the patience for this one. You know, you're trying like rush a putt, by you know hitting the the marker on the way up rather than waiting it to go up and then come back down, um, and this game really punishes mistakes. So small mistakes, missing a part, you know, missing a um, a drive and going into the onto the um, the rough, for example, you know, really really hurts you because you drop a couple of shots. Suddenly it's game over because you run out of holes. The game though, it it is good. It, you know, there's lots of aspects of it that are, that are very good. Um, but there's also aspects that are a bit frustrating. Um, the fact that the graphics are a little bit limited means without that sense of 3D, sometimes you don't always realise if you're going to hit a tree or something like that. And also the putting seems like a bit of a crapshoot. Um, understanding kind of how much the um, angled surfaces on the greens or the grain is going to influence the ball, you feel like kind of you're guessing a little bit. And, you know, when you get a putt in, it's satisfying. But there are other times when you miss, and you don't need to miss by much for the ball not to go in. And again, cost you a shot, and then when you've only got a single credit, you know, really costs you pretty much the entire game if you make, you know, just a couple of mistakes. So, yeah, for me, I, it is a good golf game, but you know, I have to say I probably prefer Mario Golf either on like the Game Boy Color um, or the N sixty four. So yeah, I think it's a good game to have and. We've not had a golf game and we probably won't have another one. But it'd be good to get back to something a bit more traditional in the arcade. So let's take a look at the scores. So I've had 16 scores sent to me, a Man Cave arcade played, but he didn't actually submit a score. We've also got a return from Sinner Steve. He actually did pretty well on this one. I think he quite enjoys it. For me, as I said, I found it a bit frustrating. I'm all the way down in 15th. But actually there's quite a few of us all in the same number of holes. So just to clarify the scoring, we were playing for furthest hole on a single credit, and if you match the same hole, lowest score. So from Colin, 11th, down to me in 15th, we all got to the 7th hole, but ranged from 6 under for Colin through to just 2 under for me. I think I maybe got a double bogey on the 7th um, hole that I did actually complete. Then we've got Robert, the only person to finish on the 8th hole. He's in 10th. Then my friend Robert, he's in 9th, getting to the 9th hole. Then Paul, in 8th, he got to the 10th hole. We've got three people who got to the 11th hole. Gary Gill Gaming, in 5th. There's actually a really good performance from him, I think the best of the season so far. But joined by Bob, in 6th, and Milthy, in 7th. In 4th, is my Retro Tech. He got to the 12th hole. Then in 3rd, our current leader of the competition, Big Jaffa, he got to the 15th, and actually matched Sinner Steve, who came 2nd. But Sinner Steve put the score in 1st, so he'll be in 2nd overall. But winning on Neo Turf Masters is Graham. He's currently in second place overall, so this win will help him gain some ground on Big Jaffa. He completed the 17th hole with a score of 14 under. That's two holes further than anyone else, so a great performance here. Let's now see how this has affected the league table. So we've got a few movements up and down the table. Bob has got ahead of Robert for 11th. Then Colin has got ahead of Retro Arcade Challenge for 9th. Retro Arcade Challenge is giving up video games for Lent, so he didn't play this week. Ian also didn't play, and I've got ahead of him for 5th. Then ahead, my Retro Tech, with his good performance this week, has got ahead of Blue Yak, who actually had a relatively weak performance here. He's 35 points ahead of Blue Yak, and 60 points ahead of me, so looking like the favourite for 3rd place. Our top 2 though, are well ahead of everyone. Graham, with that win, has closed the gap slightly on Big Jaffa, but he's still nearly 100 points behind. We've got three games left, so assuming we don't have another shmup, there is a chance Graham could catch up. So let's see what our next game will be. So let's now find out our eighth game of the season, and I've had 10 games sent to me, fighting games this time. King of Boxer from Graham is trebled after his win. Ya Kung Fu has two votes, and then we've got two Street Fighter games, Street Fighter Alpha 3 and Street Fighter Third Strike. So let's set things going, and see what we get. Or could it be King of Boxer? 
yeah, it's, it's, it's even landed nearly on the name. Um, so yeah, Graham put this in uh, for the sports game, um, but he's put it in again for the fighting game. So yeah, I've vaguely seen this game. I think it's it's a boxing game, um, and you can move both left and right and sort of forwards and backwards. So it's a bit like a boxing game in the sort of beat em up kind of style. Um, but I don't know too much about it. I will go look it up, make a video, and be back in a sec. So our next game is King of Boxer, also known as Ring King, released in 1985. As the name suggests, it's a boxing game, and you've got three buttons. You've got jab, punch, and guard. It's fairly straightforward. Like in boxing, it's a 1v1 contest, trying to knock down your opponent. It looks like you have various bouts, with the difficulty gradually ramping up, and you're getting more money for each victory. A quick play, and it was fairly easy just to jab the first enemy, and he goes down fairly straightforwardly. The second enemy, though, I did struggle with, and I think it will take a bit of practice to work out the tactics for this one. The game did see a couple of home pause, neither of which I'm very familiar with. It came out on the Famicom and the NES, but not released in Europe, and then it came out on the MSX2 in Japan. We'll be using the King of Boxer English ROM, which is King of B.zip, and default settings as usual. So before we finish, let's find out what our next genre will be. So I have a nine genres sent to me, and both Maze and Single Screen Shooter have two votes each. Maze was my choice. Let's see if it comes up. So let's set things going and see what we get. Okay, slowing down. Okay, looks like it's gonna be Single Screen Shooter, even if it ticks over. Um, cool. I don't think anyone's going to complain about about this genre. Um, usually a popular one, plenty to choose from. So yeah, get your submissions in and we'll see what we get. I hope you all enjoy playing some King of Boxer. I'll be back in a couple of weeks with the scores. See you then.